The Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. This is Ken Crow, market development agronomist for Pride Seeds. We're in a field here in, uh, I guess the early part of mid-April, we would describe it April 9th, we're in a field in Oxford County. This is a, uh, a medium textured soil with an open bottom, uh, hence the reason we're able to be in here today after last night's thunderstorms. Uh, this, uh, this field is coming out of a wheat red clover rotation and uh, has some primary tillage as you can see done here in the fall. And I wanted to talk today about early planning and some, some planting time diagnostics. So we all talk about soil temperature at planting time and really what that means is the temperature of the soil water at planting time. A uh, corn seed, when it's planted, uptakes 30% of its weight in soil water. And we want that temperature of that water to be 46 degrees Fahrenheit or greater. If, uh, if the soil water is at that temperature, germination will begin. It's important to understand that germination and emergence are two different things. Germination is when that seed actually uptakes that water, swells, and begins to sprout with the root system going downward, that initial seedling root system. And then it heads towards emergence with the mesocotyl coleoptile growing upwards and sprouting towards the ground. What's important to know is that even though germination starts at 46 Fahrenheit, is that that sprouting upward or that coleoptile growth and heading towards that emergent stage doesn't start until 60 degrees Fahrenheit in terms of soil temperature. That's why in some years, if the temperature hovers in that 46 to 60 range for an extended period of time, you'll see seeds that have germinated and have a fair bit of root fern underneath them, but not much in the way of a sprout. So the question might then be, what happens if there's a sudden drop in soil temperature, say 25 degrees Fahrenheit uh, temperature drop? That's cold water imbibation and can lead to a cold water imbibational chilling injury. That's corkscrewing of the sprout around the seed delays emergence, you see some leafing out underground, and it's just not a very good looking site when you diagnose that in the field. So one of the key tools when you go to the field this spring is the soil thermometer. 46 degree minimum, that might mean parking the planter first thing in the morning when soils are at their coolest from the overnight lows, and not starting till afternoon once the soil is warmed up. So you planted, what are some of the other tools? And here's a couple things. There's our Pride Seeds Seed Finder Depth Finder. That's a metal metal uh, instrument. Um, see the metering there. So we're looking for that ideal depth, depth depending on your soil is uh, inch and a half to two and a half inches, give or take. And another really neat tool for digging up seed in the furrow is actually one of our plot stakes. You see a little bit of flexibility there. If you can find a steel ruler or a piece of snow fence lath or something with that, flexibility and yet still fairly stiff, you can use that to scrape along the furrow a little bit of dirt at a time and you can actually remove the furrow and see your seed to soil contact and your seed spacing because it won't dislodge the seed. So another neat little tip. 